Hello, this is Scott Pachena, editor of Telecoms.com here at Mobile World Congress 2024, and I'm delighted to be speaking once more to Andreas from Subtonomy. Hello. Hello. So, Andreas, a core area of business for your company is uh, customer service in the telecoms environment. Could you just start by giving us an outline of um, any particular trends in customer service and what customers want from it? Yeah. So I'll start with an example from Sweden of the, the company of IKEA that a lot of people around the world make fun of and they're flat packages that the customer themselves have to put together. But We've all got some though. Yeah. <laughs> but there, there's been a US research where, where they've shown that that's actually part of the experience and, 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 and the, the fun. So really you need to put the customers in control and make them do things themselves. So uh, with the digital channels in, in customer service that has been introduced, customers can now, now do things on their own terms. You open up customer service 24 seven and the younger generation of uh, uh, customers, they really want to do things themselves. And that's really where we come in, we work with technical customer support. Uh, that's an area that hasn't been digitized yet. So that's where we help our customers to make it possible for uh, their subscribers to do self-service online. It can be on an app or it can be on the web or in the phone queue while they're waiting for, for customer support. Makes so it's sense. a way, way of offloading your traditional customer support, but also opening up for 24 seven digital solutions. Um, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I certainly, um, if I'm queuing up, waiting for some help, if I can start solving the problem for myself, I think I'd find that really useful. So the big, big theme of the show this year is pretty much um, AI, hmm. artificial intelligence. And I certainly know that, and, and that's been fueled in part by the big um, progress in generative AI over hmm. the last year or so. Uh, and obviously generative AI is, is potentially very useful for um, for things like chatbots and, and that sort of thing. So perhaps you could just tell us in, in your space how the recent advancements in AI um, have affected what you do. Yeah. Now I, I think that the first investment we'll see in, in telecoms will come in the customer service area. And as you mentioned, chatbots. Chatbots is getting very popular as the means to talk to customers. And it's actually in some age groups, the number one. Uh, and if you can add AI in there, you can add uh, intelligence in what you do. And both internally, you already work with Nest Best Action, so customer service representatives get suggestions what to do next. And while walking that through over the phone, you can actually do that in your digital channels with AI and chatbots. And there we come in as well with the, the information that we bring up from, from the network and we have full control of the service delivery to each customer in your network. Uh, we can put that in the hands of customer support or we can feed into an AI uh, chatbot. So in that sense, you need the data that we provide. Uh, AI feeds on a lot of data and yeah. accurate data and we bring the accurate data to make these uh, decisions that the AI take uh, correct. Yeah, that's, um, you know, people are learning that about large language models. They need to be tailored for particular, particular needs. And, and again, that's where companies like yours come in to help that process. So just to finish off, so you, a big part of what you do is helping people out um, with uh, customer support for networks. And we're about in the, let's say, in the middle of the 5G era right now. Are there any specific or, or, or distinctive um, uh, customer support challenges that have come along with 5G? Uh, we're still seeking a little bit of, of the useful areas with, with 5G, but if you take the consumer market, I think North America has shown that fixed wireless access where you, you deliver real broadband services over mobile is, is, is a future service for 5G on the consumer side. And in that area, uh, it's, you will be uh, full delivery of broadband and you have TV services running over that, gaming and everything in the household. Uh, so there is very, very important to deliver a good service. And there we, we come in. And we're not only taking network data there, we can actually take data from the actual modems and routers out of the customer. So we can give a holistic view of this delivered service. And so I think you need to enable more areas with, with 5G. And in the business to business side, 
it's very important to enable your customers to, to do things themselves. Uh, with IoT, you don't want to talk to the customer no. representative saying, I want to add 50 IoT devices. So you need to enable customers in, in digital channels, and that's, that's what we, we are all about. Um, okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Thank you.